doing a lighting upgrade in the shop. Uh, changing out my T12s over to these uh, these LEDs. Uh, first thing I did was I went out and I got a, a bunch of these toggled sets, and um, I am deeply disappointed with the performance of them. So these guys, I got them on Amazon. Um, they are Type B, so um, you have to cut the ballast out when you install them. I've done similar jobs to this, uh, I'm going to say probably 150 times. Um, in my facility, we're switching out everything from fluorescent over to LED little by little. So I'm uh, very well versed in how to do this. It's really simple. I'll show you how to do it. First thing first, grab your, uh, your bulb. It should have a diagram right on it. Pretty much all of these LED conversion types do, and it'll tell you if it's type A that it works with the um, that it works with the ballast, type B that it works without, or um, type A plus B, which is hybrid. You can use it with or without your ballast. Uh, this is a T8 sized. Uh, they're, if you don't know, they're measured in eighths of an inch. So a T5 is 5 eighths, T8 is 8 eighths, 1 inch, and then a T12 is half an inch, 12 eighths. So uh, first thing we're going to do, cut your power. Don't try to do this live. Don't get shocked while you're sitting on top of a ladder. It's going to suck. Um, other than that, we'll hop on up the ladder, and I'll start pulling the covers off, and I'll, I'll show you what to do with the wiring. So this part of the job will vary based on the type of fixture that you have. These ones... You just have these two clips, turn them 90 degrees, slide it out, set your cover aside. This type of bulb is double sided wiring, so what that means is that you have hot on one side, neutral on the other. Um, so when we go to wire this, again, we're, we're powered off. Smart thing to do is to uh, take a multimeter and test your voltage, make sure it's not live, but I'm not that smart. And uh, you're just going to take this ballast, hack everything off it. I have a bunch of wires in here that go to other fixtures, so we're going to ignore these. If we look, we have these two red going to this guy, these two blue going to the other one, and then I have four yellow going to that end. Take all these, strip them real quick. You can use a wire nut for this. I like these Wagos. They're they're really good when you're doing um these little wires because you just slide it right in. You don't have to worry about them popping out when you're bending everything around. They're uh, I'm sure they're a little bit more expensive than um, regular wire nuts, but they're worth it. Same thing over here. These two yellows. Strip them. Toss it this other way, go. Take my hot. All I'm doing is passing it over this bridge here. You don't want to link it underneath it because then you got to take everything apart. Believe me, I've done that uh, probably a hundred times. And then we're going to pull this neutral. This neutral is actually kind of short. that neutral, tuck it on in there, 
I'm going to remove the ballast. Uh, it's up to you if you want to or not. Garbage. So, under normal circumstances, you're ready to go. Uh, put your covers back on to show you how these go. Slide it in, get all your wiring in. Quarter turn. Good. This is probably nuked, so I'm going to test it out. If it doesn't work, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and replace it. But as long as your tombstones aren't nuked like this one, you're done. Um, go ahead, pop your bulbs in, turn the lights back on, make sure everything's right. Uh, just for hypothetically, while we're in here, if you purchased single-ended wiring type instead of double-ended wiring type like I did, I find the double-ended wiring types tend to be more common, but singles are out there. So if you bought the single-ended wiring type, what you do is come over here, and you have these two wires going into the tombstone, clip all four of them, pull one, put it to your uh, hot, put the other one to your neutral. Same thing over here. This end, don't touch it. You can cut the wire short, it doesn't matter. Um, I like to uh, cut them and then I put them all in one of those Wago nuts just to keep them secure. And uh, the other thing to do is um, just phase tape the wires coming out of here. So just put black electrical tape on the, uh, on the hot and you're good to go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll uh, help you out the best I can.